for me to have money to go for surgery. I have been in this situation now since 2019. May glory be to God as our Papa was releasing his blessing. I received my miracle. I cannot walk before all the way from that side to this side alone. I give God the glory in the name of Jesus. Indeed, it was a personal touch from the Lord. The touch from above. Listen to Dr. Kumui. Anywhere you are, a transforming touch in your heart. I said a transforming touch in your life. It will happen. The moment you come to God and say, God, here I am. I need a touch, a divine touch in my heart, a divine touch in my inner man. I've not been able to walk straight. I've not been able to live straight because of the condition of my heart. But I want to live straight and I want to live a positive life and a powerful life and the Lord said all right I'll do it for you now if God washes anything that thing will be clean if God cleanses any heart that heart will be clean no matter how you have been out of control you couldn't control your heart you couldn't control your mind you couldn't control your personality but then God says, don't worry, control has come. Cleansing has come. Because he himself will touch you and he says, you shall be clean. And for all your filthiness and for all your idols, when I cleanse you, the moment you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, and you say, here is my heart, here is my life, I offer everything to you, he will take you and mold you and remold you, and then there is connection. And then you have power with God. Anything you ask God because you have power with God, He will answer you. He wants to clean up that heart. He wants to forgive all your sins. He wants to change. He wants to transform. He wants to take the old life away, the old heart away. And He wants to give you a new heart. And it's just for the asking. If you're giving your heart to the Lord right now for Him to make a transforming touch, just raise up that hand. He's going to do it immediately. Tell Him now, Lord, I belong to you now. Only you, I belong to you alone. I don't belong to Satan anymore. I don't belong to evil doers anymore. I belong to you completely. Transform my heart change my heart give salvation to my heart thank him that he has done it i'll pray with you now father in jesus name all these who have offered surrendered and given their hearts to you oh lord forgive them in jesus name according to your promise take all their sins away and put all their sins in the sea of God's forgetfulness, never to be remembered against them anymore in Jesus' name. Take their guilt away. Take their condemnation away. And take their weakness away. And I pray, Lord, definite forgiveness, you grant them now. Freedom from sin, you grant unto them right now. Let your grace come into their lives and make them new men, new women, new boys, and new girls, having the salvation of the Lord in their hearts right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know it's done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Your time has come. Whatever challenge, whatever sickness, whatever disease, remember that word immediately. When is your miracle? Whatever it is, just raise up your hand. The Lord will meet you at your point of need right there. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, instantaneously right now. Touch them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, any part of the body that infirmity may be, I pray you touch them right now. Swelling, 
go away in Jesus' name. Broken bowls be joined together in Jesus' name. Those who are paralyzed, hands withered, legs withered, having stroke, be healed in Jesus' name. You are deaf, you are dumb, I pray the power of God will touch you right now. Those deaf ears be opened in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues be loosed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have incurable disease by cancer. Cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Also be healed in Jesus' name. And yet come out in Jesus' name. Respiratory problem, I pray you take it away in Jesus' name. Those so who have a SS, sickle cell problem, AS problem, and, and they are suffering because of that, touch them now and heal them. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise God. Now you've been given the key, your divine connection you can now see. And today, at 4 o'clock West African time and 15 hours GMT, is another time for divine connection. Join us live from Abuja to all parts of the world via the social media. See you there. Thanks for being part of today's Titanic with Dr. W.F. It's great to have you once again right here with us on today's Tanik with Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. It was a time of reconnection as sounds of joy rent the air. It was testimonies all the way, both online and physical. Praise the Lord. My name is Obina Joy. I'm from Cairo region, Peace District, Agape Group. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life. Actually, if the first was for my salvation, it has been for a long time. I've been praying for God to save me. Even if I pray, like as if God is not answering me, I'll pray, but I'll still fall back to sin. But I want to thank God that today, God has touched me. Like, I feel peace in my soul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The second one, actually, it has been for even one year or more than one year. It started in the middle of the month. I forgot the month in particular. I had a waist pain, but my mommy also told me that it's going to, it's going to go. But this thing, this thing continued. Even people started calling me like I was an old woman. That I have, how would I be having waist pain? I cannot sit down for more than two minutes. I'll stand up and go outside. But when the tears came inside, I say I must see him when he's coming inside today. I saw him when he came inside. I smiled, but I started crying. When he was praying, I laid my hand in my waist. Like my spinal cord, I can see something just arranged them in their order. Like before, I wasn't able to bear. I would stand up and go outside because my waist is pain me. But I was sitting down from the topic till the point three, till the prayer. I want to thank God, but I, I want to thank you because... <laughs> Dr. W.F. Kumuyi took his time to introduce the throne of grace and mercy. Jesus is so very near. Your salvation is so very near. The Savior is so very near. He says, I know you. I know your problem. I know your difficulty. I know your challenges. And I have been appointed by the Heavenly Father to come and save you. As we just stretch out your hand and say, yes, Lord, I accept. I agree. You are the divine connector. He will connect you. Connect you with heaven. Connect you with salvation. You will be saved. You must be saved with all that Jesus Christ has done and he has finalized, finished everything, salvation is yours. Salvation is mine. I said salvation is mine. Come boldly to the throne of grace, not to the throne of judgment. Judgment day has not come today for you, for me, for us, for everyone in the day of mercy. I said in the day of mercy, 
whatever you have done, whatever condemnation, and you are thinking that there is a hand, a big hand in heaven with a big hammer, and it's going to smash your head. No, not at all. God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him will not perish, and you will not perish, but have everlasting life. Now is the day of grace. He's sitting on the throne of grace, and he said that we may obtain mercy. We may obtain mercy. Look at you there. You will obtain mercy. I see you there, you will obtain mercy. And all those people by themselves over there, and you are hearing the message, and you are seeing me, even though I cannot see you, you are going to obtain mercy, mercy for salvation, and mercy for healing, and mercy for deliverance, and mercy for blessing. You obtain mercy today, and you find grace to help, grace to help, grace to help, grace to help. He will help you. Help has come. Help has come. Sufficient help, supernatural help has come to you tonight in Jesus' name. It's not over for you as you can still be reconnected right now as you pray with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Wherever you are, is up that hand and lay the other hand on your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that is opening their hearts right now to receive the Lord Jesus as their personal Savior. Come into their hearts in Jesus' name. You cannot fail. You will never say no. Confirm it, Lord, in their hearts right now and turn their lives around for the better to now continue to follow you. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Join this prayer because you may just be the next to testify. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We rejoice in you. You are a merciful God. Every sickness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. All that infirmity I command, come out in Jesus' name. Any weakness there, paralysis there, stroke there, impotence there, come out in Jesus' name. All those evil powers tormenting the head and tormenting the mind and tormenting you in any way, that evil power you cannot resist the name of Jesus, the divine connector, evil power come out in jesus name thank you lord it is done in jesus name we pray aha i'm so glad that a divine connection touch has reached you this moment we would love to hear from you please contact us via the social media handles and guess what the grand finale of Divine Connection 2021 happens 6.45 local time. Dr. W.F. Kumi will be right here online and you can be blessed. Make it a date. Don't miss that moment.